answer a question from the chat from uh, Cheve on which LLM is powering Copilot. It's probably a good time to, to talk about some really cool upcoming features. Um, so in that example, Sava showed, and Sava alluded to this earlier, that is uh, we're hitting the, the GPT, correct me if I'm wrong, Mark 3.5 endpoint is a, the model that's backing it. But my most recent project has been creating a local LLM. Um, it, for those um, you know privy to the, the ML field, the Llama 2 model released by Meta pretty recently um, offers crazy good performance um, versus model size ratio. And so uh, we were able to package that up and get it into the app um, to accelerate both on a GPU. If you have a dedicated GPU, GPU in your machine, this thing will rip. It's, the, the performance is incredible. And we also have a CPU offering. Um, and so the PRs are coming in, they're getting merged. Um, look forward to that in our um, in piece for developers as well as our plugins pretty soon. I mean, this is a, a pretty cool offering. So you'll be able to completely turn your Wi-Fi off and have an entirely air-gapped offline um, language model for yourself that has all of the same feature set that Sava just showed off. It's all we're doing is swapping out the language model. Um, and I'm really excited about this for all the reasons I just mentioned, but the as we know, the field is moving crazy fast. Another model is going to come out tomorrow. I guarantee it. The <laughs> the the code llama model, code llama two, just came out like a day ago. Um, and that's a great example of my point here in that the infrastructure we've built to implement this model is generic where a new model gets dropped and we can get it in the proper format and into the app almost immediately. Um, yeah. None of these things are, are kind of handcrafted to, to work. It's, it's a generic approach. So we're, we're going to be able to stay up to date with the, the latest technological advances in, in LLMs and, um, and we can give you a pretty awesome local experience. I mean, the, and it's all based on the, the quality or a kind of processing power of your own machine. If you have a, a souped up development machine, big GPUs, we can ship you a big model. It'll, you know, your results will be better, might be a little bit slower, but um, you, you, can, you can choose the model that works best for, you, for your workflow. Fast and less accurate, slow, more accurate. Um, we're going to let you tailor it to your development experience. We're, we're really excited about it. Yeah. And, and Brian, I'll, I'll just add to that because I know, you know, a lot of people are, are wondering about, all right, what is this going to use RAM wise on my computer? You know, what's the compute requirements, stuff like that. And uh, this is targeted to go out next week for our, our first local uh, models. And, and I know there's a, a couple sizes and, and also to giving you more access to different models in the cloud. Uh, but, you know, we are putting a lot of effort into um, two things. So we have these micro models that kind of run to power search or run to power tags and titles and whatever else. And so the modularity of our, of our machine learning pipeline that runs on device enables us to turn on and turn off these large language models. So what you'll see very quickly is if you're engaging the copilot, you know, we'll, we'll boot that up real quick. Um, and then after a certain period of time, we'll make sure, hey, look, we'll reallocate those resources to the operating system so that, you know, we're not using that continuously. Um, this will actually start to happen as well for other components. So we do have a model in, in pieces right now. It's um, I think it's a fine tuned T5 uh, from Salesforce. I believe that's, you know, um, it's, it's fine tuned with LoRa embeddings and it uses a good amount of RAM, right? I think it maybe uses like 500 megs of RAM when it's on, uh, but even those, you know, getting those turned on and off uh, because certain experiences like, you know, search and uh, NCS search and stuff like that, you know, that's using embedding spaces versus language models, right? So really excited about the things that are about to ship on, um, on just memory management and resource management. That'd be great. Absolutely.